The next day was our last in Cork before we headed to County Kerry for the wedding. We spent a day in Kinsale with its colourful buildings and art. Now we're not going to go into detail in this video as this is the behind the scenes vlog. We'll give you the lowdown in our city guide. Rather than eat in a service station or pub, we looked for a stop the car place to have a picnic. You never have to wait long in Ireland. Sometimes you've got to stop the car for a beautiful picnic with a beautiful view. One thing we did have to wait a long time for was the wedding. It had been postponed twice because of Covid, so it was third time lucky. Now I don't think you've seen us dressed up like this before. This is the reason we're here for Sarah and Adrian's wedding and we're off to have some fun at an Irish wedding. Let's find out what it's like. All of our family were over for it, so it was a Riley invasion of Kerry. But no one seemed to be in a rush to go to the wedding. We've just turned up at two o'clock, which is when we're meant to turn up. And no one's going into the wedding part of it, the ceremony yet. Everyone's getting drinks. So I think it's drinks first, then get married, then some food, then some drinks, then some dancing, then some drinks, then some food, then some drinks. This is gonna be a fun wedding. The ceremony did finally take place. It was a beautiful service. One Irish tradition we'd not heard of before was the ring warming. This is when you pass the wedding rings around the guests and when it comes to you, warm it with your best thoughts, wishes and prayers for the couple. Then it was time to say those magic words. The loud cheers, I think, tells you what kind of wedding this is going to be. We had another cocktail hour, and then Sarah and Adrian were ready to make their entrance to the reception. And these guys know how to party. They came into House of Pain Jump Around. Now, I'd love to play the song, but I don't want to get a copyright strike on here. After some food, it was time to party. We started with some traditional Irish dancing. Then they taught all of the guests some moves for a jig that everyone could take part in. I think this section makes you feel like you've been to an Irish wedding. Enjoy. Sarah and Adrian have had some special moments at Coldplay gigs, so they bought the wristbands for all the guests. And guess who they put in control of the light show? We put Jude and Sam down in a corner to sleep. My favourite bit of an Irish wedding is that part of the night when you're thinking about winding down and going to bed, 
but they bring out a midnight feast to keep you going for hours to come. Then it was back to the hits with the live band. But normally at weddings, the guests aren't allowed to grab the fiddle and take lead vocals. What a voice. The party continued. And as we all know, the sign of a good wedding is how many ties are around people's heads and when someone does the worm. When that person is your son, you know it's been a big day and night for your family. The next day we chilled at our farmhouse Airbnb. It was right on the coast and we had goats to feed and dogs to play with. It feels as though you could only get these experiences in Ireland. The Irish farm life I love and the miracles of Airbnb these days. You can just find a little Irish farm to go stay on with your, with your lovely little Irish Aunt Mary that becomes part of the family. <laughs> and feeding the goats and making fresh apple juice and the sea views across the farm. <laughs> the day after that, we did the Ring of Kerry. This is one of the most famous drives in Europe, and we've made a special video which has a full itinerary for you. We'll add it to the end screen. The next day we visited the fishing town of Dingle. Its most famous resident for many years was Fungi the Dolphin. He hasn't been seen at the peninsula since 2020. But Sam and I went out looking for some of his friends. Find out how he got on in our guide to Kerry and Cork, which again we'll add to the end screen when it's ready. On the way home from Dingle, we had to get out of the car again. Stop the car! I'm On our final day, we didn't have time to stop the car at any points. We went around Muckross House in Killarney. We then had to drive all the way from there to the port at Rosslare. Hey, that rhymes. The only time we stopped was for some food. I'm not going to lie, I thought Supermax would be a bit of a joke and it was just like a rip-off of McDonald's, but it is really tasty. Do not avoid. It's really good. Really fresh burgers, really fresh buns. Go for it. Yeah, not a sponsored post, just really good food. We made it to the ferry in good time though, and it was time to head home. We're back on the ferry to go home. Our Irish adventure is over. <laughs> Thanks to Irish Ferries for making this all possible and helping us out. And to make sure you watch our other videos wherever they are. We've got one on um, the travel guide for Cork and Kerry, and the other one on how to get around to the Ring of Kerry. See you later. Bye.